We've just finished interviewing, um, so brain is feeling rather scrambled at the moment. There's a slight sense that's just about set in of, we've done all that, that really wasn't too bad. Actually, yes, it was an immense effort and the sort of dregs of adrenaline are keeping me going, but will disappear probably in about two hours time. Um, so we've done over the past two and a half days, 47 interviews, uh, which packs them in quite tightly, um, but does what we want to do in terms of enabling us to see as many candidates as possible, including seeing candidates from other colleges who are recommended to us during the course of Friday and indeed this Saturday morning. So loads of question marks still in the mind at this stage. Nothing is completely definitively resolved. Um, but a greater sense of, OK, we know a bit how the land lies. What are the candidates in our final collection that we're dealing with? Need to still talk with colleagues at other colleges. Um, but the sense of all the hard work of doing the interviews and preparing for them Every candidate I felt had a pleasant experience. I mean, some candidates were quite explicit and said, I really enjoyed that at the end of the interview. And you think, good, that's, that's exactly what we want. There can be the impression that it can become a bit samey or monotonous, given that you are using a, a set passage and you're asking similar questions. But you never feel it that way. Um, because each, you get e equally kind of hyped up for each interview because it's a different candidate. You have to make them feel at their ease. They read the passage aloud, you ask them questions, and it will always go off in a slightly different direction. To, a, to an extent, the same concerns and the same issues crop up from year to year, notably as regards modern languages. Um, because we set a poem in French for the candidates to look at, that can often cause anxiety because they've not been doing English literature A-level and feel, therefore, they've not been doing formal literary studies for quite some time. And some of them voice that in interview and say, oh, I've, I've not been doing English literature. Um, but obviously we know that, so we gauge the questions accordingly. So we're not going to start saying, now, how is this metaphor functioning? But we'll start it from asking about mood or tone of the poem that are accessible routes in that you don't need technical terms to describe. There's a sense now of um, things calming down, because that's the thing about when you're in the middle of the interviews, the, your only focus can be the next interview. Um, and it's only after that's finished that you can sort of depress the gears and come back out to think, okay, now I can look at everything in a calmer and more objective light, or at least a more of an overview light, and then make those very, very difficult final decisions. Um, it's always, always very hard when someone is going to be the last candidate that gets nudged out. Um, just because of the, the pressure of numbers that we've got. Um, we know we won't be able to offer places to everybody we really, really liked. Um, and that's an, across the whole cohort. So with all, with all the exchanging and passing between colleges, we offer to the best people as many of them as we can. Um, so there, there is, it becomes emotionally very difficult because you've, you, we've now seen these candidates, we've seen them, flourish in the interview, the ones that we really wanted to offer places to. And there's always going to be somebody that we're going to have to turn down.